Oh, good evening. Um, yes, it is evening, or quite early evening, and uh, as per the last video, um, I thought I'd build uh, a little kit, uh, another little kit. They both came at the same time, so uh, I thought I'd uh, have a little bit of fun and uh, just build these up. Now, these are actually incredibly low component count kits. Well, I say, say low component count kits. This particular one is meant to be an hourglass uh, microcontroller activated hourglass. Um, actually looking at it there is uh, not much of a variety of uh, components there's a microcontroller um, a switch a power barrel connector um, socket for the microcontroller uh, a switch um, it's just a standard switch and a Oh, there, there it is. There's a little capacitor in there. And the rest are just LEDs. Now, this is the uh, instruction set you're given. Um, in Chinese, as usual. Um, and uh, just trying to see how it does what it does. It looks like it's multiplexing. Yes, it is. It's multiplexing multiple streams of LEDs in different polarities, either low or high, to give the effect of movement. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's put it together and. Um, see what it comes out like <clears throat> now the board itself is uh, quite well printed uh, can't complain about that um, I suppose really we've got to start fitting LEDs in and um, fitting them in the right way round um, it's quite hard to see the orientation because these all just look like stars because they're actually quite small. Um, but uh, yeah, you can you can see which is which is which, and uh, the LEDs are um, standard uh, three mil LEDs. Again, you don't have to use threes. You can you can change these for for something else. Um, um, have they actually put all these in the same way round? Yes, they have. They've done the polarity switch on the circuit board. So, in fact, all the LEDs go in the same way. So we could populate we could populate the board in sections. Actually, is probably going to be the easiest rather than uh, put every single LED in. Um, Obviously, if it was going in a, a flow solder bath, you could, um, well, you would populate the entire board and then just flow solder it and plug the CPU in later. Oh. Let's pick up another one. see if we can get all of these in. Um, rather than have you watch me just poke LEDs through holes and solder, uh, if I do the first row and uh, then I'll come back to you um, once all the soldering is done and uh, we can power it up together and uh, see what wonderful effects we get out of this thing. Well, let's just uh, finish placing the resistors, uh, the diodes in this uh, in this long row at the back, like so. And if I solder that back row on first.
Right, so uh, at this point, uh, I'll carry on and I'll see you uh, once all this is done. Speak to you soon. Right, here we are, back after all that soldering, and uh, it's all together. And it doesn't come with a lead, but uh, I just happen to have one connected to uh, uh, an adapter, and it's a little 5 volt lead. Um, so if I plug it in like that, and flick the switch, you get the hourglass counting. Now if I'm going to turn the lights down, down, you should see it better there. Um, what you've got with this little button that's on here is if you hold it you can speed it up. It's just a brief example of using the uh, the microcontroller to uh, actually switch different sets of LEDs or different individual LEDs on using multiplexing and uh, there you go. Um, these pins here allow you to actually program the micro microcontroller yourself um, with different uh, different parameters. Um, something I'm going to have to look into. Also, there are a few bits left over. There's uh, a capacitor here, and you know, uh, three spare LEDs. And uh, looking through the paperwork, it does mention the value of the capacitor down at the bottom here. Um, the only trouble is I don't read Chinese, so I'm going to have to uh, stick it in Google Translate. But as it stands, the project works as it does. And uh, you can see that uh, if I slow it back down again, let's see if I can get it to the next level up. And just a little bit quicker. Uh, there we go. Thanks very much for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.